first thing that you imagine? A beach. A beach. Very good. I'd like for you to look around this beach and describe it. What do you see? What kind of beach is this? It's a... Uh, black sand. Mm -hmm. Black sand. Blue waters. Mm -hmm. Sunny. Mm -hmm. What else do you see there? Look around the beach. Are you alone there? Are others with you? Look all around. What impression do you get from this beach? How do you feel when you're there? Joy. Joy. Mm -hmm. Where are you on this beach? Are you observing it or are you on it? seem to observe in it. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's special about this beach. I'd like for you to continue going deeper and deeper into the meaning of this place and let's find out what's special about it. What do you see? Dark. Mm -hmm. Like dark skies. Dark skies. Mm -hmm. What's happening with the skies? Just feel cloudy. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Where are you seeing these cloudy skies from below or above? What's the point of view? From the ground. From the ground. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you look at this cloudy sky, do you feel that you have a physical body now? No. No. Let's find out what happens next. What about this place? What's happening with the clouds? What do you feel? Change. Mm -hmm. Something's changing. Like bright again. Mm -hmm. And as the sky keeps changing, how does it change your emotions? Do you feel it? Yes. When it's uh, bright, I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm spinning. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where you go to. Allow yourself to follow that sensation. Let's see where it takes you. What happens now? Mm. What do you see as you spin? I feel like I'm under something. I'm heavy. Mm -hmm. Something's on my chest, my body. Mm -hmm. Like I'm underground. Let's find out what it is. What is this heavy thing? It's like I can't move, I'm restricted. Mm -hmm. Do you I feel trapped. You feel trapped. Let's find out. I'd like for you to observe where it is that you are. 
Detach yourself from where you are and observe it and see what's trapping you. What is this heavy thing? It's hard to explain. Mm -hmm. It's like I c it's, uh, it's restricting me. It's like I cannot... I'm trying, but I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, tra I'm trapped. You're trapped. Mm -hmm. And in this place that you're trapped, do you feel like you have a physical body? Yes, I feel like I'm dead or something. Mm -hmm. like like you're, you're I'm on the earth, I'm, I'm, I'm buried. Because mm -hmm. my chest is tight, I don't know if I'm buried alive, I don't know. Well, let's find out what you are. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go back a little bit of time before you were trapped under that earth. Let's leave that scene behind and see what you were doing before. Be there now. Where are you? Trust your impressions. Look around you. What do you see? Darkness. Darkness. Mm -hmm. Are you restricted now? No, I'm free. All right. Do you feel that you have a body there? No. No. Let's find out what it is that you are in this place before you were restricted. Use all of your senses to find out what you are. What's the first thing that comes into your mind? What do you see in your mind's eye? It's like I'm seeing the sky and mm -hmm. something just moving about it. And I feel like I'm looking up. Mm -hmm. Seeing the sky, looking up. Mm -hmm. The sky is cloudy. Yes. Light blue. Let's see as the observer how it is that you're looking up. Do you feel like you're on something physical? Sometimes I feel water. You feel water? Okay. Maybe, maybe in the water? Mm hmm Are you in the water? Allow yourself to just go deeper and deeper as you sleep. What is this place? I sense, I feel like I'm, I feel water. Mm -hmm. I, it's like I just know it, it's like it's water. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're in the water or you are part I of I feel like I'm the water. Ah, very good. Mm -hmm. So if you're the water, can you move? Yes, uh, yeah, I feel free. Very good. So allow yourself now to move and let's see where it is that you go and what you see along the way. Look all around you. Completely acclimate yourself as water. What do you see along the way? I feel like I'm turning and I'm seeing clouds. Mm -hmm. I see clouds. What else do you see? Brightness. Uh, mm -hmm. Like a pinhole when you're looking at the water. Mm -hmm. I, I see purple like, bluish, like deep. Mm -hmm. And I'm moving around uh, and I feel like my body moving like the water, mm -hmm. like as it's 
swirl it around mm -hmm. and I'm seeing it around me. Let's see what's around you. Focus your attention and see if you're alone or if there's something else around you. Trust all of your sensations. What's around you? Bright sun. Bright sun. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're deep or that you're close to the surface? Uh. I am uh, mi midway. Midway. Mm -hmm. Are you able to move to the surface? Let's find out. See if you can reach the top. How does it feel? The sky is blue. Mm -hmm. The sky is blue. Mm. Are you able to come out of the water? I feel cold. I feel cold. My f feet, like I'm cold. Mm -hmm. Like it's getting colder. Mm -hmm. And top warm. See if you could sense that you have anything physical to you, if you can sense the cold. Let's find out what it is that's sensing this cold. Is there a body? Feels like it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a body. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what type of body you are. You may take different shapes or forms. What kind of a body do you have? Does it feel like a big body or a small body? How does it feel? I feel like I'm restricted. You're restricted. Mm -hmm. Like legs are tied. Mm -hmm. Do you think your legs are tied on purpose? No. What does it feel like? It feels like ice. It's like it's getting colder and colder. Mm -hmm. So let's see where it is that you are and why you feel so restricted. Can you see your legs? Look down at your feet. What do they look like? Trust your first impression. What does it feel like? I, f I feel like it's shaking. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like I'm in something. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine you're in? What is this cold place that you're in? Oh, it feels like a tunnel, like like I'm in something, mm -hmm. and now the cold is going through my uh, knees. Mm -hmm. It's like it's coming high up, mm -hmm. really cold, frozen, freezing. But it's like I, I, I'm on top. I'm good. Mm -hmm. So it's like half my body is freezing. Hypothermia, I'm in mean, hypothermia. Mm -hmm. It's getting worse. Mm -hmm. You don't have to feel the Oof. sensation. You can just see it as an observer. Oof. Allow yourself to detach from that body and just view it. What is it that's happening with your body? Where are you? 
you can see it as an outsider. Where is this body? For some reason I can't see it. Mm -hmm. I just feel it. You don't have to see it. You can sense it with those internal eyes, with the part of the mind that you use when you're imagining. What do you imagine has happened? I feel trapped. Mm -hmm. I feel alive, mm -hmm. but trapped. Like a boat. You'll know what it is. Use your inner knowing. Connect with that knowing. What happened? What happened to your body? Was there a boat involved? feels like it. I still see I'm looking up. Mm -hmm. But part of me is frozen. Part of me is good. Part of my body is good. Like, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's stuck or it's frozen somewhere. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happened to the bottom part of your body. I want you to go back in time a little bit and find out how this bottom part of you became trapped. Close the scene and go to that next scene before this happened. <coughs> what happened? What's happening? I feel like I, I drowned. Uh -huh. Find out how you drowned. I feel better, I feel released, mm -hmm. I feel free again, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel um, relieved, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you left that body? Yes, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So now that you left that body, we can find out what happened. What happened to your body? You'll know the story. You'll be able to see it. How did you drown? You'll see it like a movie. Where are you? Um. I'm just seeing bright light. Mm -hmm. See a bright light. A bright light. Mm -hmm. Are you in the bright lights or just watching them? I feel it around me. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Feel good. Mm -hmm. Let's follow that light and let's see where it takes us. Let's see if someone will tell you what happened in that life, last life. Where do you go? The more you talk, the more you'll see. 
I just feel aligned, like mm -hmm. I'm I'm all in the light. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm lying down or let's find out what this place is where you are. Use your inner knowing. Where have you gone? It's beautiful light. Mm -hmm. I feel Power, I feel strength. Mm -hmm. It's just light all around me. Mm -hmm. Do you feel in this place that you have ma you're a male or a female? What do you feel? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. And do you feel that you have some sort of a body in this place? Yes. What kind of a body do you have? What does this body look like? I keep on seeing an opening, like I'm looking up through something. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking up and I'm, and when I look up I see sky, I see the sky, mm -hmm. and I see something. What do you see? It's, uh, it's like a blue sky, uh, but it, it will go away and it will clear, it cloudy, mm -hmm. and then get back blue again. Mm -hmm. So it's like I would lose. Uh, I lose uh, sight, like, mm -hmm. and then the light come over again. So let's find out, as the observer, what you look like. Do you have a physical body as you're looking at the sky? I can't see a body, no. Mm -hmm. No. So let's find out where you go to next. I'd like for you to close this scene now. Close the scene and now we're going to travel through time and space to another time and another place, another lifetime that had significance. Be there now. Where are you? the first impression that you get? What's the first thing that crosses through your mind? Something? Like I'm moving. Mm -hmm. Like something is moving above me. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine it is? Look, it's like I'm looking at a star or something, like something moving, mm -hmm. like I'm like right in front of it. Yes. As the observer, how are you looking at it? Just looking at it, like I'm I'm standing, and it's like right in front of me. Mm -hmm. So be as descriptive as possible, and let's see if it'll clear up a little bit more for you. It's like a circular object. Mm -hmm. It's got like red undertones and like grayish color. Mm -hmm. And it and it's spinning, and I'm in front of it. It's spinning. Yes, it's uh, going uh, it's, uh, clockwise. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine the spinning object is? Like a ship. Like a ship. Mm -hmm. Is this ship something that you should be on? Yes, I feel like I control it. Mm -hmm. How do you control this ship? It seems like I just uh, thinking mm -hmm. through my head. 
Yes. And I and I go in. All right. So let's go into the ship now and let's see what's inside. I'm I'm in I'm I'm um I'm in the controls mm -hmm. and I have a, a visio um I could see er, I could see sky I could see a universe like mm -hmm. uh, and I, it's just moving uh, it's moving to the left it's just, it's just uh, Now inside of this ship, do you have a physical body? Yes. Take a look at your hands. What do your hands look like? They look connected to the instruments. Mm. How are they connected to the instruments? I just rest on it. Mm -hmm. Do you have fingers? Yes. How, like how many do you have? One. One finger? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So your whole hand is just one finger? Mm-hmm. Okay. What does your hand look like, your body? It looks long, uh, slender. Mm-hmm. And I'm seated. I feel like uh, I'm a different being, um, mm -hmm. like an alien-like. Yes, but yeah. do you look like the rest of you? I have a blue, blue clothes on, dark eyes, and I'm at air, yeah, and I'm just uh, I'm only one, only one on the ship. The only one. This is your ship. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you say you control this ship using this, your hand and your intention? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like I automatically know where to go. I, I don't have to say anything. It just works. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where you're going to today. What happens now? What do you see? I I see like a blur, mm -hmm. but I know I'm on the ship. I guess it's moving. I guess at warp speed. Mm -hmm. It's just going quick, and uh, we're just moving through. Uh, it's like um, like cl cloud things. Like it's it's going so fast, but I I'm in it. I guess, mm -hmm. but I could feel like it's like I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where it is that you need to go today. What do you see next? It's landing. Landing. Mm -hmm. I get a I get a sense of Mars. Mars. Mm -hmm. Take a look around. What does this place look like? It's rocky and red. Mm -hmm. That's like a station. Mm -hmm. There's a station there? Yeah, it's like a station, like a holding place. Mm -hmm. Dismount. And, and we enter as command center. It's a command center? Yeah, it's like a, yes, the place where we all go. Mm -hmm. Is this indoors or outdoors? It's indoors. It's like a, like a, like a, a station. Mm -hmm. What's inside this command center? Uh, I see people like me and they walk in the controls mm -hmm. and I'm walking in and uh, but we don't talk, we just we just know. Mm -hmm. So what is your role in this place? What do you do there? Observer. You're an observer. So are you were you on a mission? Yes. Mm hmm What was this mission all about? Yes. 
It's like I'm not supposed to know. Like, it's like I'm not supposed to know. I'm not supposed to say. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? It's, it's like I got a block. It's like a. Uh, Am I? Oh, what are you feeling? My feet get tight, mm -hmm. like cold again. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that means. What is the significance of the feet getting tight? And real cold, like frozen. Mm -hmm. It's like a light came again, mm -hmm. and that happened. So who's controlling all of these senses in your legs and feet? The light? The light. Mm -hmm. What is the light trying to tell you? Just give me a message. Mm -hmm. What's the message? Hmm. Hmm. It'll come to you naturally. Hmm. It's frozen. Mm -hmm. What does frozen mean in the message of the light? You said you feel blocked. Yeah, yes, uh, when you ask for my mission, mm -hmm. I get I got that right away. Mm -hmm. It's like I was taken away from it. Yes. And I felt the sensation that earlier. Mm -hmm. Like my two feet are frozen now. Mm -hmm. I feel the sensations. I feel it mm -hmm. cold, but my upper body is good. Mm -hmm. so let's find out <laughs> what the significance is of having your feet feel frozen and blocked. Let's go deeper and deeper until we find the answers. I'm going to count from five down to one. And when we get to number one, we'll know what is the significance of this. Each number will take you even deeper. Beginning with five, going down to number four. Deeper and deeper into this knowing. Three, even deeper and deeper. Number two, unblocking, allowing the information to flow. And number one, allow the information to flow in and let's find out what it is that we need to know today. What is the reason why Allendale's feet get frozen? What's the message you're trying to give them? Who's blocking him? The more you talk, the more I'll be able to help you. I see a uh, bright light, mm -hmm. and it's just uh, okay. I see that uh, now. It's I see this guy. Okay, I'm getting the release, mm -hmm. feel the warmth, mm -hmm. and I see the sky again. Mm -hmm. I feel the frozenness melting away a bit. Mm -hmm. Feel the warmth coming on. Mm -hmm. Who is giving you this white light? The higher self. Mm -hmm. So higher self, why is it that he felt frozen? Who's doing this to him? Mm. 
can see some message. Is this a connection? So in the sky open up again. Mm -hmm. I feel in Something is coming through me. Mm -hmm. What is it that's coming through? Light, warmth. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like the heavens open up, mm -hmm. like something came through. What came through, please? Who's here to talk to Allendale today? Who's here to answer his questions today? Is it a guide? An angel? A family member? Who came through? Source. Source. What does Source want to tell Allendale today? Light. Energy. Mm -hmm. Strength. I still feel it coming through. Mm -hmm. It's coming through my chest my heart mm -hmm. and it's uh, going all outwards and it's coming out to my arms off of my on my hands both hands mm -hmm. it's bright beautiful feels good so as this bright light goes through is this the Christ light yes mm -hmm. What is it doing to Allendale's body? Power. Power. Mm -hmm. Strength. Mm -hmm. Is it healing him in any way? Yes. Mm -hmm. Purpose. Purpose. Is this is the light street? Through the sky, it's right on my chest. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's just penetrating, mm -hmm. and it's coming around, and it's coming back, and it coming back to the to the middle, mm -hmm. and it's going back straight up again. It's coming back. It's like a cycle. Mm -hmm. Is it taking as much as it's mm -hmm. giving to Alan then? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is it that it's taking from him? No, uh, stuff that's not needed. Mm -hmm. And it's filling it up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Tell him everything you're doing so it's recorded. Breathe, press, breathe, press, mm, okay, mm -hmm. it's done. Very good. So would you explain to me what it is that just happened with him today? What just happened? Recalibration. Mm -hmm. Will this help with that frozen feeling on his feet? Yes. Mm -hmm. What was causing that? 
Blockage. Blockage. When he first started out, it seemed like he was drowned or something was blocking him. What was that feeling that he was feeling? Was that a past life or? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happened? Drowned. Was it on purpose? Did someone drown him? It seemed like something happened to his legs. Was it an accident or did someone do that to him? Cannot tell. Mm. Well, if something is holding on to him, there must be a reason why he's holding on to that feeling. How is that life affecting him now? Let's find out. What was the drowning? Who caused that drowning? What happened? Yeah, chest tight. Mm -hmm. um, sensation is happening again. Mm -hmm. Legs are cold. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I can breathe. Mm -hmm. Trembling. I feel like I'm about to die. Well, you can stop that moment right there. Stop it like as if it were a camera. And let's find out how you got to be into that place. Did you fall into the water? I was dropped. You were dropped. How were you dropped into that water? I feel like it was from outer space. Mm -hmm. I feel like it wasn't from... Earth, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a something from above. All right, so was this a craft that perhaps dropped you in the water? Yes. All right, let's find out what happened. Were you dropped there intentionally? Not sure. Let's find out. Let's keep going backwards. Let's find out what happened that this craft dropped you in the water. I feel like I was given a mission. Mm -hmm. The sky is blue, it's nice, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess something happened, maybe an accident? Mm -hmm. Yeah, accident, something happened, is something went wrong. Something went wrong on your ship? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So did someone drop you intentionally in the water to save you? Or was it... An accident. It's an accident. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened to your ship? Never found. Never found. So let's find out how this mission, this failed mission, has been affecting the life of Allendale. Let's follow the dots. Connect with your feelings. What were the last, last things you were thinking about before you died? Follow it through. Mm, I was excited, mm -hmm. happy to go on the mission. Mm -hmm. I feel like I wasn't supposed to know. Mm -hmm. And what happened?
something happens in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, Is that where you saw the clouds? Clouds, something happened, something mm -hmm. uh, wasn't prepared for. Mm -hmm. And uh, I suffered the cold beforehand mm -hmm. prior to my demise. Mm -hmm. So now let's find out how this scene, how this life has affected Allendale. What has Allendale brought forth from this trauma? The pain. Mm -hmm. The back. The pain in the back. Is that because of the crashing to the, the wall? The fall. Mm -hmm. Does he need to carry that back pain associated with this other life anymore? No. No. Can we disconnect from this life, understanding that he's not going to be dropped? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else has it been affecting him? That's it. That's it. Very good. So now I'd like to ask the higher self, what is his purpose in this lifetime? Why is he here? To help others. Mm -hmm. Is he doing that now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he on the spiritual path? Yes. Mm -hmm. So he has a question about the spirituality. He says that he'd love to be able to open up a spiritual center, connecting others to the God and Kingdom of Heaven within. He'd like to have deep knowing of healing others. What can he do to move towards this goal? Believe. Mm. Is he believing now? Yes. Mm -hmm. So he's thinking of, for example, opening up a healing center in Dominica. What's keeping him from realizing that dream? Time. Mm -hmm. Patience. Mm -hmm. Time. Time. So he's not going to get it done right now. In time. In time. Okay place where he's thinking about, the Castaways Hotel in Merrill, is that the place? Yes. All right. Is this something that he knew he was going to be doing before he got here? Evolution, uh, journey, it's, it's, it was always why he was sent back there. It was always why he loved it. It's always why he had to be there. Mm -hmm. It's part of the plan mm -hmm. to believe. To believe. Was he born in Dominica for that reason? Yes. Okay. What is in that part of the world that he needed? Nature, mm -hmm. mountains, it's part of his future. Mm -hmm. his Showing. Children, he will, yes, he will uh, schools. Mm -hmm. He will educate. He will help the children of tomorrow mm -hmm. on the new earth, the new plan, mm -hmm. the re, the re in, the re intention, mm -hmm. re intention. Intention. Re intention mm -hmm. of the future souls that will carry out God's plan. Mm -hmm. That will carry out the future plan.
of the new children coming in that will help to empower the new earth the teachings that they're receiving the information presented is corrupt is is dirtied uh, with the world's teaching uh, we will give him the information that will help him to help create this new breed of help that will empower the earth and Dominica will be a small piece of that future plan Oh, the green, the natural, the earth, uh, how it should be. Mm -hmm. The earth has been destroyed, has been taken for granted. It's misused. I, I feel it. I feel the earth and the new children will be enlightened, will be empowered to love the earth, to be in one with it and the cold that he feels in his feet is the hurt that the earth feels that he is connected to he is connected to the earth and he feels it but the warmth he feels in his heart is what will help him to Help the children of this new earth The children He will help build schools He will help with a new teaching That will strengthen them That will give them the power and the strength to go out with the message of oneness, of unity that will bring and strengthen others by them just being there they will be in other places besides Dominica uh, and uh, the light, the strength will come out to others and they will be like a beacon that will connect to the outer beings and their power and their strength will exude without others knowing they just have to be there he has felt this before, he's always known it he loved to be around people, he felt the connection with crowds and the beings that he'll be part of, that he'll enlighten they will do the same, they will go out there and they will hand strengthen and that will be a part of the new time the new time, as we've been telling him, time, time the new time that started, it's now the time is the now, the time is now, it's now, the time, the time is now 
and they will be part of that time, a long time, that will help transform, renew, and Dominica is part of it, because of the earth, the earth, Okay, and, and that will lead to the melting, f melting, and he, he doesn't do this, he, he doesn't continue, it happens again, it happens again. What do you mean it happens again? If he doesn't do this, it happens again? Happens again. We go back. 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 And we can't go back. We can't go back. Why is it that Allendale is so important, so integral, in this new earth with the teaching of the children? I studied him in the Catholic Church. Yes. For what purpose? Everyone thought he'd be a priest mm -hmm. because they saw something in him. They all said it. But that wasn't my intention. Mm -hmm. I wanted him to experience life, to understand humanity. Mm -hmm. So he would have a better understanding of what it is to be to lead, to help, mm. all the stuff he went through, his whole childhood, his whole childhood was part of, part of the plan. So that he can empathize with children that are he, going through that? He could empathize, mm -hmm. he could feel them, he know their pain. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing with the church is to show him, and he always, that's why he always loved churches, he's always love all religions, he always love all people, uh, he, he never try, he always see the beauty in everything and everyone, because part of the plan, and that's what I've been showing him this last year, that all of it is corrupted, hmm. the ego of man have infiltrated the church. Christ came 2,000 years ago to show the Jews that they should love all. We are one. 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 It's one source, one strength. One soul is bright, it's bright, it's strong, it's one, it's one, we are one. That's why he came. Did Allendale come to this knowing this mission? Yes. Where did he come from? I get galactic, galactic, mm -hmm. galactic, a G, galactica. Mm -hmm. So he came here for that purpose to make a change in the earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. he, he came to finish. Okay. He came to finish. <laughs> to finish. This is it. They finish. Okay. Can you explain to me what finish means? What do we finish? And Christ said, it is finished. Mm -hmm. The completion, the fulfillment, the coronation, the plan. He was shown the church that the judging, the 
the consciousness. We have to clean. We have to clean. We have to clean. We have to clean our consciousness. And we have to take on Christ consciousness. And the plan is to achieve and to get that into the new children coming in so that they don't get indoctrinated and take on the beast, uh, they take on the the stuff that's been shown to them and to teach them a new way, to help them find a new way but also because they're enlightened they come knowing already and it's to help them just help them find a way you need to believe, you need to be strong he needs to connect to others he's not the only one and with the help of others he will achieve the purpose of helping the children the new ones from small before they are indoctrinated mm -hmm. in the systems of the churches that are put in the ego I had to show him how the church went back through popes and decades and how it's all men but the teachings of Christ how he came here to show us we are not doing it we are not leaving it and we caught up with the materials and not understanding our true purposes beyond the physical and he's got the knowing and I'm empowering him today strengthening him today, he feels it and from then on he will go out and he'll carry out his purpose full-fledged I'll be with him I will be with him Can you tell me who you are? I am Christ Now in the church, especially the Catholic Church, I know that they say that Christ was coming again. There was a second coming of Christ. Are we talking about a physical or a consciousness? No. The second coming of Christ started in 1998. He realized that his most people believe that his uh, like in Revelation his coming is physical, mm -hmm. but it's misunderstood. His coming is spiritual. He's coming through the internet. He's coming through the technology. He's coming through us through the medium. That's the new medium. Mm -hmm. He started. He's reaching so many, yeah. and they know mm -hmm. he's coming through his words the word he's coming through the word mm -hmm. he's coming through that medium he's coming through them mm -hmm. uh, and he's showing that whatever they've been taught whatever they've been <laughs> indoctrinated with mm -hmm. wasn't their fault they, they tried they just they did their best mm -hmm. they did with what they know with what they what they could understand but it, it was polluted and he's coming through and he's been here from since 1998 mm -hmm. strong through 2000 is coming through these years and that's the coming of Christ it's coming through not physical and and that's after his coming and a new understanding is going through for a thousand years the earth will renew will strengthen it's going to be great years it's going to be good years that's the year that is envisioned in Revelation, in the new earth. Mm -hmm. It's it's a new consciousness coming in. Mm -hmm. And once that consciousness takes over and to a percentage of humanity, that's the new children, everybody coming in, empowering the new, the people that have been here, a percentage will be higher that allows for a complete change that change has solidified, is completed, and Earth is on a new trajectory. 
and the new energies are coming in strong but it's happening with the new Christ consciousness the churches will be shut down people gonna, will stop going to church people will be more spiritual they will know they will go for an evolution through a journey they will be connected and they will get connected to source and, on the, and through that consciousness they all return they all return, it will be over, it will be finished it will be complete and earth will be restored thank you for that I have a question about these children now it's not just the church that's teaching them there's a school system in place all around the world how can one teach these little ones in order to show them or transmit this Christ consciousness to them while they're trying to learn their lessons and do their homework what can parents do to start now the children will be enlightened already they will come empowered they will come with the word they will be changing their parents okay. they will be the leaders they will be leading the way mm. so they'll be telling the school system how they want to learn change will happen mm -hmm. from within okay. and it will come from within out not from out in okay. so Alan Dale's role in all this when he's teaching will that be channeled to him yes okay so is he a channel he is but he don't know yet when will he see the effects of this channeling when will it get stronger after this after session mm -hmm. have you opened up his third eye oh yes okay will you tell me a little bit about these dreams that he's getting he says that he had a dream where everything was in black and something was given to him that had a black covering. What is this? Power. Power. Why was it in black? Black signifies purpose, commitment, change strength change mm -hmm. strength black absorbs all mm -hmm. black encompass all so that's what he was saying that yes. he was being presented with the power okay. yes what about last night he felt that he had a very uh, startling dream in which there was a mushroom cloud and they kept, he kept saying to himself that he knew the date and he knew it was coming and she, he should have informed everyone what is this? 2024 2024 what's happening in 2024? mushroom cloud hmm. an eclipse the eclipse mushroom cloud And the children will be plucked out from the earth if we don't continue the mission. If we don't continue the mission, the eclipse, that will be the sign. The children will be saved. Mm -hmm. They will be plucked up. From heavenly bodies will just absorb them and the earth will be destroyed. Is this because of a war if we don't stop it? The this? beast. The beast. Is this the dark energy? The dark energy. Oh. We create it. Mm -hmm. Our thinking, TV, the propagation, the the seeding, the seeding. Every time, every time we watch the shows. Every time. 
every time, every time, every time we connect to the other side. We are two in one. We are two in one. The yin and the yang. We are two in one. The bite of the apple took us that took us to the physical to experience the other side. We have grown it, we have grown it like seed from the apple, we have planted it, we have sown the seeds, and the seeds we have the fruits, and the fruits they manifest in the destruction we see all around us. Everything we blame on God, everything we blame on everything but ourselves, but is within. God is within, He's within, the God is within, the God is within. God is within, is within. We blame on everything but ourselves. First steps we need to realize that everything that happened to us, everything that happened to us, everything that happened, everything, good or bad, is from us. We create it with our thinking. This is how we think. The TV, the shows, that shows the destruction of society, the destruction of oneness, the separation, the judging, the bringing down, the condemning, the not loving, the hatred. The lack of love. It's all about love. It's love. I feel it. I see it. It's love beautiful sprite when we connect to it it's in our hearts it's in our cbdinas connect to it that's what we give out in order to get more you have to give it out yeah. you have to give it out you have to open your arms reach out love someone else unconditional yeah, no reservations just love unconditional you create your world. The world that you have, you create it. Everything that happened to this earth, we do it. Because of our consciousness, because of our lack of love, it manifests in the earth. The disasters, the brokenness, destruction, the wars, is us. We fighting against each other, fighting against ourselves. And it manifests and what we get back. We are the change of our consciousness. We change it. Just love. Love each other. Unconditional. And the seeds of the apple, the biting of the apple, it came on earth. The physical. The seeds of the apple is what you plant, is what you think, what you desire, whether good or bad. You create the bad, it's you in your thinking. But if you create good, you think good and you sow the seeds, you sow it the seeds of the fertile earth. That's what you do. Every time you think, every time you love, every time you teach, whatever you do, your work, Whatever aspect of your life, whatever thing you do, you are sowing seeds and you will get, you will get the harvest of that seed as the tree of good or evil and you will reap that harvest based on the seeds that you plant. So plant your seeds with every thought, with every action, with every word, 
with all love and your reward is your life the kingdom of God the kingdom of heaven is not outside is not a place it's within you it's within you you have to believe you have to cleanse of all the beliefs that you've received over the years and believe this the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of God Christ is within you take on his consciousness and he will find you here's how through the law of attraction through your vibrations whatever you put out the seeds that you plant your intentions the good deeds good words good love the good blessings is your seeds you put out your vibrations this is it this is it you put it out you plant it believe it believe it and you reap and you will attract everything to you that will take you to the next phase to the next phase of your journey very good so anything that we're thinking about multiplies multiplies mm -hmm. so all of these news shows that are out there focusing on crime focusing on politics on judging what should we do with those shows there's two energies when you connect we all are energy so when you connect your energy to the good you will have no need for the shows mm -hmm. you have you'll no longer need them they will automatically be cut off you don't connect to it anymore mm -hmm. it's, it's like a, a tree that is cursed mm -hmm. it produces no fruit because it's not getting any energy no power no strength you're not feeling it anymore mm -hmm because you're giving it uh, like a plant you water it it gets sunlight it grows Th that's like you feeding the energy that's presented to you from mm -hmm. the media the source the different places the different sources mm -hmm. that are inaccurate but once you connect to the good side the tree with the water the sunlight that's that's the attachment the attraction that you'll be led to that will allow you to connect to your purpose mm -hmm. and connect to where you should be to the next part of your journey mm -hmm. how does one know our, their own purpose that's the main question on everybody's mind what is my purpose purpose is dear it's dear it's within but it's clouded just imagine a heart and it's mingled and tied up and I could see the the chains it's chained the heart is chained mm -hmm. and it's from all what we were absorbing from one to seven we are sponge we we are sucking in all this stuff and it just entangles us it entangles the heart mm -hmm. so that's why I want you and him to to teach to help especially the children so they're not cut off and, abs and absorb uh, has the bad energy mm -hmm. instead of the new energy the new source but they will have it from within they will be strengthened so previously we were not able to fight it we were not able to overpower it but now they are redone they're recreated they're redesigned these children are being redesigned they are redesigned who's redesigning these children source source mm -hmm. 
thoughts. So he's sending in new children. Ah, oh, they redesigned. Yes, mm -hmm. it's like a DNA, DNA, DNA recreation. Okay. They redesigned. It's re changed. Something's changed okay. that allows them to to connect to positive, to connect automatically to. GPS, GPS. They are like a, they have a GPS within mm -hmm. that allows them to connect to that signal. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they are not led like we were mm -hmm. to the other sources so easily. They are able to detach. Mm -hmm. They are able to ver uh, the word. They are able to uh, see it. Uh, I'm presented with something. They they are able to. Uh, they're able, water falls on it and it falls off. Mm -hmm. Repel it? Repel it. They repel it like a, a coat. They have like a coat. Mm -hmm. They have, oh, like a, co they have an outer sole, like a covering. Yeah. And, and whatever comes on it, it can't penetrate, it just drops off. Mm. Uh, yeah, so they have a uh, protection. Good. Now, is this one of the reasons why Allendale was presented with a son that was autistic? Was was this part of the plan? Yes. What was that plan? The new children. They're the new children. 1998. 1990s when it began. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they have. They are locked up. A purpose. Why is that? They can't let it in. They were the first wave. They can't let it in. The artistic. The autism mm -hmm. designed. It prevents them from communicating, picking up. interaction a quiet a blocking and there's an awakening that will happen through them we have to love them patience love them in time 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 patience patience, time, they will be unlocked, opened, but not as we think, spiritually, spiritual. We see things from the physical, but it's spiritual, it's energy, something we can't see, but it's all part of the plan. So these children chose to come here in this form? Yes. The yes. West. The West. The West. The West. The West. The West. They, co they come into the West. The West. The West? The West. Like West. Like Western. Like West. California. West. Okay. You come to the West. There's a purpose. Hmm. There's a plan. The West. So there's something there, some energy that is needed in that area? Yes, there's energy needed in the West. Okay, so these yeah. children are all there to direct their energy? Oof, oof. Cold, happening. cold again, the cold. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, oh, the cold. What happens? What oof. does cold signify? As far Separation, as cut off. Okay, what happens to the West? Oh, they'll be cut off. They'll be cut off. Oh. Are you talking about the land? Oh, now? it's split. Oh, it's split. The land oh yes, California, the West, the sp split. Uh oh, <sighs> I feel it. It's split, split. Why does it split? Consciousness. Hmm. We, we. Consciousness. We. Or mass consciousness. Mm -hmm. We create our reality. We create our world. But the children will help. They're here for a purpose. Children will help. Mm -hmm. They're here for a purpose. The children will help.
Now, when you see this mass splitting off... I feel it. I feel it and I see it. What do you see? I see a big cut, a big split. Mm -hmm. It's like I've seen it before. But I feel it. And I feel it in my legs as confirmation of what's happening. It's like I know it. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. It's like a separation, a split. Is it a split of consciousness? A split of consciousness and a split of the earth. Of the earth. What happens to us within happens in the out. Mm. We, it starts from inside, it goes out. We can't fix the outside without fixing the inside. It starts from within. It's all within. So are we saying that the people from the West have split themselves off from the rest? <sighs> Look like it's natural. Mm -hmm. It's natural. And what happens to the people that live in the West? Okay. We. Uh, hmm. We the people. What does that signify? Mm, change. Change. Mm -hmm. mm, I feel warm again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, feel warm. Mm, with the people. What mm. happens to the people in the West? Consciousness. Mm -hmm. They need to change. We need to change with them. We need to help them. Mm -hmm. But that's where it will manifest. In the West, in the environment, disasters, split from Louisiana, up through Michigan, Lake Michigan. So the center of the country. The center. Mm -hmm. I see the the uh, the uh, Florida, Florida, mm -hmm. uh, New York. Water. Mm. Oof, cold, cold. Cold. Cold signifies physical hardening. Hardening? Hardening of our hearts, hardening of our consciousness, going back to the physical. Mm -hmm. We are and we should be transforming to light. We should be lightening up, not getting too cold. We need, we need to get warm, that's why. My upper is warm, I feel warm, and the bottom is cold, the, the earth. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm connected to the earth. Mm -hmm. So when we are not lightening up, the earth is getting colder. It's getting broken, it's like a crack, ice. Mm -hmm. So we have vapor, steam, we have water, which is where we should be. Water, be able to feel in every shoes, feel in every place, be open to everything. Absorbs everything, beautiful light, just, oh, just gracious. Power, strength, glory in water. And then we harden through our consciousness, through our thinking, our beliefs. We harden and it manifests through the earth. And the manifestations for disasters, for the brokenness, the environment. That's the manifestation. Mm -hmm. We have to enlighten. Can we avoid this cracking? <coughs> oh, oh. What change do we need to do? To avoid these <sighs> what does that signify? <sighs> if we couldn't feel what I just felt. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. What was that that, that just manifested? I 
I felt God, Christ, source, power. Wow. Energy, energy, mm -hmm. energy. What was the message? Ooh, cold again. Oh. Oh, wow, joy, peace, togetherness, oneness, mm -hmm. love, believe it, believe it, it's within, it's there, we have to lock it, open to it, whichever way we can, mm -hmm. we will know, mm -hmm. everyone has a path, everyone has a purpose, everyone is part of the plan, everyone is experiencing for God, Everyone is part of the plan. Everyone is part of the design. We came here not knowing. We were veiled. The veil is lifted. There's an opening, there's a shift, some more than others. And that's what you feel when it's happening. That's what I felt. Mm -hmm. It's an it's a energy that will go through you, to propel you, to empower you make you strong you will find it but you have to believe you have to believe so this shift this lifting of the veil is this what Allendale just experienced yes mm -hmm. will it be prolonged or just for a moment it will, it will come for a moment it will come for prolonged it will come for different experiences for different people, different time, mm -hmm. but it will come. If you want it, you will get it. You have to believe, you have to want it, and it will happen, mm -hmm. and you will know. Okay. Now, if Allendale listens to this recording, however, if he's recollecting how the earth is splitting, how can he not be in fear? How will he not want to run and save his family, for example? How can you reassure him? Because when you know, you have no fear. Mm. All knowing, you regain. Oh, I feel the heart. Oh, so the heart, heart, the heart. Imagine that's what he felt from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Something was over. Something was over his heart. Yeah. Something was, and he was constricted. Mm -hmm. That was telling him how he is um, when we are locked up like we are now. We think we are alive. We think we are free, but we are not. We are all tied up with something heavy in our chest. We can't see. We seen barely. That's what I showed him. Mm -hmm. Really, it's dimly, it's in and out. We go in and out. We see a little, go back to darkness. Mm -hmm. And we are held down, we are held back. But when we take on that consciousness, and when we believe, and when we connect to the little thing within us, that seed, we start sowing those seeds, start planting them, and they manifest and they grow. The knowing will come, and the legs will be untied, the cold will go away, the earth will be renewed, oh, the earth will be renewed, it will be strong. And what is to be will not be. The split that will be will not happen. Everything reverses itself because we create it. It's our consciousness, it's us, it's we. We don't believe, but it's us. No one but us is us, it's we, it's within us. It's how we think, what we believe. Once we change that, the freezing, the enlightening happens, the light returns, and you feel that oneness with all things, with all the humans, everyone, we're not separated, black, white, we are one, we are one. We were sent here to get tested, we were sent to get tested with this concept of separation. But now is the time to connect back. We've bitten off the apple. Now it's time to 
close the experiment. To move on. The journey was great. There was a lot of learning. It was beautiful, but we didn't see it. We got caught up in. We got caught up in the show. We need to get outside the show and realize it's just a show. We were just acting. We were just part of. The, we're part of the creation process. We wanted to know what it's like to feel, to feel it. We wanted to know how to feel, to feel. We wanted to feel like the Creator. We wanted to be like Source. We wanted to experiment, to experience. We wanted that. We wanted that so bad, and yet we come here. And we cannot understand it. And we're really confused. We're hopeless. But once we connect back to this small light, this small light, and we see and we believe, ooh, I could feel it, we warm up again to Christ. He showed us the way. He came to show us to love. Love each other, unconditional. Forgive, unconditional. Don't judge. No judge, no judge, no judge, no don't judge. Because if you want, when you judge, you judge yourself. You only hurt in you, that's why you have karma. And you have to come back and do it again. Because you just put a hurt in yourself, you just hurt your own self. Because you only it's you. It's you. It's you. We are you. We all are you. So when you see a person when you are there when you are there when you are there when you are ready when you are there mm -hmm. here's what you'll see you will see a person and when you see them you will not judge you will just see love you will just see yourself when you see a person you see yourself but when you're in the physical, you see another. When you're in the spirit, you see yourself. Because you're light, you're source, you're one. So when you clear off all the stuff within, that's chains, that wrapping around the heart, that's holding it down, preventing it from breathing, preventing it from existing, preventing it from love to flow, the heart is chained. So the love can't flow. Once an opening is let out from the heart, then the light will come in, the love will show, and eventually will take over. It's like the world when the sun comes in the morning and it starts in one place and it starts small and it just grows big and it empowers at midday. And the sun and its glory and its beauty, this is it, this is it, this is it. So you are the same. But it has to come from within this and not from without. And you feel warm, you feel great, you feel empowered. And that's how you'll know when you see another. Don't see color, don't see race, don't see anything but love. And the teachings of man, the ego of man have stepped in. The ego of man stepped in. And the cloud, religion, the cloud, the teachings, the cloud, the book, they cloud it all and they confuse, they confuse. But once you know and you connect, you will know and you will help another and another and another. And a ripple effect that will change the world and the world will return to true form. The world that we imagine, the new earth, the new world that we all talk about in our own way. And we all are right, but but we fight. We want to be right so much with our ego. We fight each other. So that's why, don't fight. Just love. Step back. Let source come through. Let the light come through. The opening in your heart. 
let it come through and over time it grows and it grows and it grows like a seed that you plant you water it with love it grows and my sunlight the sunlight and it will empower your whole being and you will become part of that source that will enlighten and empower the earth and that's the new creation that's the new birth but we all see it differently which is okay but it's a new birth the new earth and people have questions about their bodies in the new earth how do you maintain your body to be the ideal weight to be able to go forth in this new earth I should water 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 mm -hmm. Water is purity. Mm -hmm. Water. Getting water. Sunlight. Source. Think of a plant. So we need to act more like plants. Like plants. Mm -hmm. The air we breathe in. The sunlight. The source. That allows it to grow. And the water and the love, the nurture, like Jesus did, the nurturing, the loving, that's the same love, it's the same love we give to a plant, mm -hmm. to an animal, the same love that we're supposed to give to one another, our spiritual beings that are here in the physical, but instead we reverse it, we give the love to the physical and not the spiritual. We give the love to the physical, so the love we have for things, the love we have for the physical, fascination with the physical, we take that love and bring to ourselves with our spirit and we think of our spirit and we nurture it with positive vibrations, positive love, and it's that spirit that will grow, that will grow and will return us to our true purpose. But it's that love, the love we have for the things we love, that love, we need to switch it, switch it, switch it, so we swap, we swap. Mm -hmm. Swap the love, that's an understanding in the physical, because you're physical, so you, you, it's hard to envision it, but it's that same love, the, the passion for the shows, the beasts, the things that take us to the wrong track, that we get an envelope in, we, we, we love them so much we can't do without them, the football games, the things of the earth, the things of physical, that we are passionate and we love, we need to transform that same love into true love through ourselves, through our beings that will propagate and go out to the outside, to others and that's what creates the new earth that's what creates the new earth is from within, is from us our governments our governments, our leaders, our people our teachers, our synagogues, our, our leaders in the synagogues, our people that are around us, the love from within will transform them. The love from within will change them. We will be the change that will happen in the earth. The change is not from without. The change is from within. Mm -hmm. This is coming from within us. I feel it. I feel it. The change is from within. That's the, ch that's the source, that's the light that will come out. But we have to believe. We don't believe. We, we have to believe. And when we believe, that's when it happens. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And health-wise, he says whenever he eats bread, flour, or drinks milk, he gets very congested. Why is that?
it's uh, processed. Everything processed. Mm -hmm. Does he need to be eating that stuff anymore? It blocks. It causes blockage. Blockage. In inhibits future progression, future plan. Mm -hmm. So he should stay away from milk, bread, and flour? Yes, it's, 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 it's a purify. Mm -hmm. So the uh, purple. So the, uh, the glory, as, uh, the, the, the light, the source, the could go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it inhibits. Okay, so mm -hmm. when we eat processed food, it inhibits the light from source to coming through? Lights from source, especially the spiritual, the spiritual. Okay. From coming in, the purple, the, mm -hmm. the source, yeah, I said purple. Okay. Can we help him with that healing today? Yes. Can we unblock that? Thank you so much. And he tells me that when he exceeds his natural weight, he begins to snore. Why is that? Indication. Uh, it's an indication. It's a signal. It's a signal that he's exceeded his weight. Yes, it's a warning. So how can he keep his weight? You already know. He already knows. Okay. All right. Is he working on that now? Yes. All right. Can you assist him with that to make it easier? Yes. Thank you. Now he'd like to have a body scan to see if there's anything in his body that's keeping him from progressing, anything that's attached to him, any thought forms he's created. He wants to be able to allow complete adoption of this Christ consciousness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hands. The hands. What's going on in the hands? Hmm. See something in the hands. Mm -hmm. It's mm, holding it, uh, right hand. Mm -hmm. What is that? Mm. Mm. Something. Mm -hmm. It's like a, s a similar connection to what's in the feet. Okay, what does the hands represent? The tying of the hands? Locking back, like uh, in place, like prevention, holding back. So is he preventing progress? Something, yes, pro progress. Mm -hmm. Pre holding back, stopping. Mm -hmm. Did he create this? No. Mm -hmm. What was it created? What is it? In the being, mm -hmm. it's a being. Being, that's what I'm getting. Being. Mm -hmm. Is this being a human type being? No. No. What kind of a being is it? Is it extraterrestrial? Uh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what's it? What's it doing in his hand, please? Holding back. Holding back. For what purpose? Do they know each other? Mm -mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Now, being that the Christ consciousness is flowing through him, why is it that these beings are not released? Releasing now. Releasing now. Mm. All right. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Can mm. we take it directly to source, please? Mm -hmm. Let's heal this being as it gets released so that it doesn't find its way to someone else. Would 
you let me know what's happening? Let us be. It went up. It went up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Can we send some healing light into his hand now so that we can completely heal him from this influence? Yes. Thank you. And as you continue to scan his body, is there anything else that's holding him back? Legs. Legs. What's going on with the legs? Something there too. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Get that. cold again. Mm -hmm. Real cold. Let's find out what this is. Is this a thought form or something attached to him? Thought form. Thought form. What is this thought form? Beliefs. Beliefs. Where do these beliefs come from? Past lives. Mm -hmm. Any particular past life that's holding him back? Something with extraterrestrial. Mm -hmm. Is this the one where he fell into the water? Yes. All right. Now we already said that he needed to disconnect from this one. Can we completely disconnect this past life from? From this? Yes. From not influencing him anymore? Yes. All right. And can we change the way he activates his memories regarding these beliefs? Yes. And it will not trigger this coldness anymore? Yes. Thank you. Let me know when you're complete. Done. Okay. Anything else in his body? That's it. Very good. Now I have a question for you. Why did you bring Allendale so far away to come here to this session? To get healed, mm -hmm. unlock his purpose, mm -hmm. take him to the next level. Wonderful. And in this next level, what does he need to do or not? He will know. He will know. Very good. Is there any other message that you would like to give Allendale or anyone else? Believe. 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 Very good. Thank you. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you so much. It's all over. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, it's Oh, I felt something been taken off from me. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you, look, you look happy. Yes, I feel it. So, what do you remember? <laughs> Let me switch those stones for you. What do you remember? Well, I remember uh, alien aircraft. <laughs> because I couldn't see it, but I know I was in it and I was feeling, I was cold, my feet. Yeah, I could feel you, you got dumped from there? Yes, I got dumped. I, I could feel I was in it, and I'm yeah. trapped. But I feel like I died. You died as you were... You kept going back to that scene until we got yeah, the answer. There was a purpose in it. Yeah, it was very important. It was like a big puzzle. Yeah, it was a big puzzle, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> we kept going back, and it's like, no, that wasn't the answer. Let's go back again. Unbelievable. How long do you feel this was... This and the funny one? thing, I almost drowned three times in the sea, too. You did? In yeah. this lifetime? Yeah, this lifetime. I almost drowned three times, and the last time somebody brought me back, was, uh, and he almost died too, but we got up, we got up in a rip car, and I love the sea, love it. But you keep drowning. I, I keep wanting to drown, yeah, and somebody tell me you need to stop going back to the sea. No, well, what do you think now? No. You don't need it. You yeah, don't need yeah. to. You don't need to. I think it maybe was that same. Yeah. Yeah. You were reminded oh. of that. Yeah. Okay. How long yeah. do you think you were on this journey? Uh, 30 minutes. Hmm. We are right now on two hours. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Your higher self was really talking. Wow. Do you remember California, the West? Do you remember mushroom clouds, anything like that? No. No. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This will be an interesting session for you to review. Definitely. You wanna do you wanna share this? Sure. If you could have somebody else. Yeah. You think you can? Yeah. Okay. There's only a couple of personal things that we'll edit out, Okay. but everything else is basically 
talking to the masses. Definitely. If I could help somebody else, for sure, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. What a session. Yes, it was. Wow. Indeed. So what do you feel? Well, I feel renewed. I feel like uh, some weight been taken off of me. Like, yes. But I did feel th the sensations, the yeah. like when the light came yes. through me, yeah. like bright and and from the main, the the beginning. I remember when you did something at the beginning yeah. to help me. Yes, I felt that. Yeah, but then I felt it greater when I and the Christ something a Christ something came into me like a light. Mm hmm And that was the most powerful. And you're still shaking. Yeah. You're still vibrating. Still vibra yeah. <laughs> the whole bed is like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I felt it. Yeah. And it went all through me, and I felt love. I felt what it feels like. Mm -hmm. And and the most amazing thing, I f literally feel the experience. Like w mm -hmm. when I was in the sub, when I was whatever the craft. Yes. Because I know you had one finger. Y yeah. Oh yeah, one finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you look like? Do you remember? Yeah, I I can I look tall, very tall. Very tall. And I sat. I was in blue, like. Uh -huh. But it's like you can't even see my body. It was like. Did you have? It's like a body, but it was very. Uh, like flexible, like, like a flex of like, yeah, like yeah. almost like a fluid body. Fluid, right, it's very fluid. Like wow. I was just in and out of things, like okay. And, and I remember at, at a control. I remember seeing con feeling controls, and like I could just think everything through. But it wasn't from me. It was like I was, I got something from some mission or something from somewhere. And you weren't told what that mission was. No, I wasn't. Told, I wasn't supposed to tell. And right, they blocked me. Wow. That's when I felt the block. Yeah. And I changed over again. I started feeling back to the beginning. That's amazing. Yeah. It was like, yeah. no, you're going back again. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, we were told in the session that this feeling that you were getting is what's going to be like when they lift the veil. Correct. And so what did you feel? Empowerment. Strength. Mm. Uh, power. It's like you could do anything. Wow. Everything's possible. Um, unconditional. It's just like... And the oneness. I mean, we have so much fighting now and stuff. Yeah. But literally to feel it, and uh, it just can't be really. And then the other thing I thought, what I felt to was when I was shown the um, ca the earth. Yes. And what changed? It, I felt the good and the bad. I felt both yes. sides. Yes, the duality. But it, all because of us. Wow. Is we do So, yeah. I mean, you came up with the date. 2024. 2024. Yes, 24. 2024. And there was a mushroom cloud. Mushroom cloud, yes. What was that coming from? I don't know if it's associated with my dream too, but I yeah. yeah, but I feel like that was telling me if we didn't continue, this is what's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, so that's like our we have to change by that by date. By that day, yeah, and everything just gonna and and oh, the the kids keep on plucking up too. And yeah. The confirmation of that that they will be taken away the good people like kind of thing. Wow. So it's, yeah, it's funny when I saw it, like a big light, like a Haley's Comet, yes. just keep on plucking them off. Wow. So they will be extracted pretty much, even kids that happen. Now, like, when yeah. they say the children, does that mean the children of the earth? Or, well, or, I, I saw or, children. I didn't see yeah. people. Wow. I just saw children. Interesting. So I saw as children. Wow. Yeah, 2020. So, it's, so it's, kind of, it's kind of, we were kind of told you have to change your consciousness right. now. Yes. And when you're finally... In that, you're not going to be watching the news. Right. You're not going to be... You know, I personally cannot even watch a movie. Correct. I can't watch a movie. Mm. I see the agenda behind every movie. I can't watch TV. Because you disconnect from it. I've, I'm totally disconnected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I have a choice to see a movie, I mm -hmm. don't. I, I don't find that Attractive entertaining. Anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, it hurts. Every time I see a movie, it hurts because right. I, I, I feel the pain. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so that's what they were almost confirming to me yes. is that mm -hmm. I, d I have TVs and I don't use them for anything except up putting YouTube on it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's I, really it. And the thing I was getting to was the yeah. beast. The, the, the beast. The of the beast, like in Revelations, the yes. beast. That's the beast. That's the beast. That's the beast. The, the beast the, is, the, is, the, is the information, bad information. The bad. Allowing us to get a bad energy. Yeah. I keep on uh, allowing us to go the other way. And even the judging, the judging was the something judging. that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, all of the shows that are on TV are about judging. Right. Judging how you dance. Right. Judging how you do on a game show. Mm -hmm. Judging everything is judging. Correct. So we're being constantly fed how to judge. Right. It, thank you. I, yeah, that's a new concept. We're looking at it. You're correct. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. No matter what, even yeah. if it looks fun, you're but still judging. Judging, like the show, you're right. 
And that's the same thing we keep on getting more of. Yes. And we keep on doing it to ourselves. And we're ourselves. judging children. Judging children. Judging them on how you're tested. I mean, mm -hmm. children are spending the entire time in school okay. being judged by how much they learn. Right. And well, the autistic kids, is what he said about the autistic kids, yeah. is uh, they, they closed up for a reason. And I was like, wow, they closed up for a reason. Yeah. 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 It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. So this this was one of those that I just sat back and just listened because you had a lot of information. A lot of information. And um, I know that you have a dream of opening up a spiritual center. Mm -hmm. what, what is your dream? Would you like to share your dream with everyone? Well, yeah. It's just that it's been coming within me that uh, to... to um, I, some one day I woke up mm -hmm. after within this last year of transformation. Yes. And I just had this thing where it came right to my consciousness that I need to open up a center and I need to help the young children coming up. Mm -hmm. and, and I just have it that I have to teach. Yeah. And that's what I felt always from a little child. Yes. I was supposed to be a teacher helping people. Yeah. And now I'm going back to that. And that's why I think you were born? Yeah. Where you were born? Right. Correct. Uh -huh. in, the, in the niche island. Yes. And, and all that experience with the mountains and connecting to that. Yeah, so you think that opening up a spiritual center oh, in Dominica would. Definitely. Would be. A, and I know the exact spot, open the spiritual center in Dominica would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Would be part of that calling. And were you thinking of bringing in people, spiritual teachers? Oh, definitely. And the plan is, is and that's what I envision too, is to get teachers. Like you, the, the people that really, because I feel like we're all part of that mm -hmm. purpose to yeah. help and heal. Mm -hmm. Because I get so, I got so much healing here today, like this. Mm -hmm. I felt it. I know it. Yeah. And, and it's all part of the healing, helping others to, to progress and, and go on to the next phase Wonderful. of that enlightenment. And there's so yeah. many, there's so many healers out there who watch these YouTube channels and I know that all of them want to be able to help. Definitely. You know, they, and everybody do it a little different. Yes. But they bring something to the table. Exactly. And, and like what I'm learning too is all of us, like you're saying, is, is different. Yes. In our own little way, but it's all the same. Mm -hmm. Really. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're all one. We're all one. <laughs> but we're, we're separated by uh, what we can bring to the table, our own skills and talents and our own personality. Exactly. That will, uh, some people will be more attracted to than well, others. I was amazing when you said to just because I couldn't figure what I was from the beginning <laughs> <laughs> and you can do whatever come to your mouth whatever and yes. it did come. Yeah. I did get them. Yeah, that's what I... It what, took a while. It took a while because I couldn't figure it out. I didn't, I wasn't <laughs> thinking of that. I was thinking it for human or something. And you know what I'm saying? And yeah. finally, yeah. and in some of these sessions we can't, we have to keep going back and forth and, but that one was a very important one because you froze. Yeah. And that's why I got the connection, yes. literally. Yeah. I even felt my legs tight one time. Yeah. I literally felt it. Because I was more feeling. Mm -hmm. I was feeling a lot. That's you I'm weren't seeing. I wasn't seeing. Yeah. I was feeling. Mm -hmm. I would see it from the beginning. It showed me where I could see the sky. Yes. Like the little blue. I could see opening and it kept on closing out. Yeah. Like I said, it just go away. Yeah. It changed. It kept on changing. I said, wow, what is that? But I felt like I'm there. Yeah. And I feel like my foot is frozen. My hair was warm. <laughs> but that... So to maybe the, the yeah. alien body that I had yes, too was yes. allowing that kind of thing. Yeah. I couldn't understand that kind of dichotomy kind of thing. But I felt it was trapped in the middle of something. It was yes. trapped in something, like yes. a cylindrical thing or something. And yes. I couldn't figure what it was. Mm -hmm. And because I've never seen one. So that's why I couldn't describe it. Wow, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So how did hypnosis feel to you? You had never been hypnotized never before. Been hypnotized so before. tell everybody what hypnosis felt like. Oh, it felt great. It's like talking really to my higher self. It's like relaxing, mm -hmm. being still, mm -hmm. and letting it come through. Kind and of that's like why meditating? Like, and then what happens is observe. So when you be still and that take over, all of a sudden I just get an energy. Just keep on coming in. And I'll just I'll keep on going on and on. I just feel it. It's just <laughs> flowing. It's like it just comes into my head. And it's like, wow. And, then it, and I know it, it stops me. It just goes away. Like it pulls back. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. It draws amazing. in, comes out. So it's like, wow, that is really amazing. Yeah. Would you do this again? Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> do you recommend it to everybody out there? I definitely recommend. And I think it's part of the healing process. And I totally mm -hmm. believe. Mm -hmm. I think believe is a big thing. I get that was the big yeah. capital letters. Yeah. Believe. Believe. And I think that's what I have to do with me yes. too, is believe. Yeah. You have to believe. No doubts. No doubts. Yeah. And just keep on going with yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah. we're manifesting our reality. Definitely. So if you stop believing... It stops. It it's stops. like throwing it's your brakes on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But we believe everything else. We see on TV and everything else, but we don't believe the, exactly. the spiritual part of who we are. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. 
I'm so, so grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing this. Thank you And so if much. you would like a session with me, go to my website, albaweinman.com. Go to my out-of-town page, subscribe to my newsletter so you can find out where I'm going to next. And through that newsletter, you can click on the links and schedule a session. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly love this session. Bye. Bye-bye. Give me that hug. <laughs>